Powerhouse, presented by Alliant Energy. Welcome back to Powerhouse. We're here at this house today to learn about an alternative air conditioning system called high velocity air conditioning. And joining us is Brett Wagner with LADCO Heating and Cooling. And, and Brett, I'm sure a lot of folks haven't heard about high velocity air conditioning. What is it? High velocity air conditioning is basically a system to distribute air throughout the house. It's not much different as far as your old air handling system, except it can deliver the air more efficiently. It's a little more aggressive. It'll take the humidity out even faster and it's easier to run in tight spaces. You know, we don't have the big bulky ductwork like we, you know, with this system. You have little mini tubes, right? Exactly, they're only two inches big. Now, can it be used, uh, is it more for retrofit or is it new construction? Actually, it's getting it's very popular at one point for retrofit, but it's now it's starting to come more to play in the, in the new construction also. We're in a house here that uh, you've got both combinations. We're in an older part of a house and they've made a nice addition on the backside here. Mm -hmm. uh, and is this how they, they cooled it originally as I look up here and see this old kind of monstrosity? Yeah, the old gray ghost, the big old gray register up there. I mean, that's what the, the air used to come out of at one time. But, you know, you look at this old register and, you know, it, you'd walk into a home, you wouldn't think much of it. But now when you walk into this house and you look over at this new register, you, you look at it and you'd, pretty, you'd say, what is that? You hardly even notice it. You walk in and it looks like an audio speaker, right? Yeah. Two inch, a two-inch vent up there? That's exactly what it is. That is very, very nice when you compare it to the old... Uh, vent that we had here. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the, the new portion of the house. Can we take a look at that? You betcha. Brent, we're in the new addition of the home here. And what accommodations did you have to make to bring the air conditioning into here? Well, actually, the accommodations are fairly simple because with going with the high velocity, it made it easy on us. And the reason we kind of came to that decision was when we designed the standard duct system to go on this uh, application, we found that it was large, fairly bulky. We had a downstairs level that we needed to condition also. And by Having to do that, we needed to find a chase space. We had to take some of the closet space. We had to find a wall to get the, this large duct down and through. Well, in the end result, going with the high velocity, we had a trunk line that was no larger than eight inches around, and we were able to hide that. That's amazing. Then tell us about installation. How does that work? Well, the installation process is fairly simple, and this is where the labor savings actually kind of comes in in this situation. If we have an eight-inch trunk line running within the attic, we have this thing, uh, which we call our takeoff. And we take this take off and it's mounted to the side of our main trunk line. Um, we have this insulated pipe here, which is our two inch uh, supply pipe that is insulated, has a foil back covering on it for efficiency, for retaining our conditioned air within the pipe. We run it over to the diffuser and hook it up. Now, there's a rule with this. We have 10 foot minimum of a run length. And the reason we do that is for sound continuation because we want this system to be quiet. And when we run this pipe over to that diffuser, another value we have for keeping that system quiet and efficient is this is a diffuser that we looked at mm -hmm. um, prior to um, on the beginning of the show. And it has a damper value where we can kind of control the sound and uh, noise coming from the register. Now, we don't just install these diffusers in the ceiling, as it's you can see. And the, you can put this in the floor, is that right? That's correct. We can get these registers to match the type of wood we have in hardwood floors and such. And uh, they work out, work out nicely. I mean, they really mix the, the, the air the way we want it to be done. We're mm -hmm. always interested on powerhouse energy efficiency. Where does the uh, high, high velocity air conditioning fit in there? Where it fits in is its ability to take the humidity out of the air. It's, it's able to take the humidity out very efficiently and aggressively. Um, and that's basically our load value in a home. When we're trying to cool a home, our biggest enemy is, is humidity. If we had a 76 degree house and had high humidity levels, it doesn't feel comfortable. But a 76 degree home with low humidity values, it feels very comfortable. Yes. And that's where we save our money. That's terrific. Talk about saving money then, I'm sure the question is, what about cost? Cost, you know, it's basically a wash. Although it's less labor intensive, it still costs a little bit more for the equipment that's involved with this. High velocity air conditioning, I'm sure it's one thing that viewers maybe are learning more about and mm -hmm. uh, you're seeing more Retrofit and new construction usage. Yes, you are. Retrofit was pretty popular, you know, a few years back. It was used in the old attics where people had, you know, either hot water heat or electric baseboard, and they wanted to add central air. It was a nice fix. It was a great way to be able to get in the attic and uh, and get things done. Again, it's high velocity air conditioning. Brett Wagner with Ladco Heating and Cooling. Brett, thanks a lot. Thank you, Pete.